The informal meeting of European ministers responsible for finance and economy is one of the most important meetings during the Lithuanian presidency of the Council of the European Union. The meeting is not only attended by European finance ministers, but also the governors of the European Central Bank. The meeting is hosted by the Lithuanian finance minister, Rimantis Shadjus. The global financial crisis which distressed everyone, banks, enterprises and every single citizen of the European Union, forces the governing institutions to search for methods to evade such crises in the future. European financial system since the uh, crisis has, and, uh, has uh, changed uh, quite a lot because indeed there has been a lot of deleveraging of the banking sector in particular and uh, uh, yeah, some increase also in the importance of the bond market to finance uh, big firms and at the same time we have seen changes in business plans of the banks and there is the uh, big problem of fragmentation, in particular in the banking uh, uh, industry. Banking union is one of the issues that has some perspective uh, that is, uh, should be designed so as to ensure that we will not have uh, such events in the future, such hugely important from the negative side events. Uh. The single resolution mechanism, which is one of the key elements of the banking union, and future crisis prevention were not the only issues on the agenda. The informal meeting of ministers for finance and economy, which otherwise is called ECOFIN, lasted for two days. One of the important problems that ministers had to tackle was tax fraud and evasion. Ministers agreed that to fight tax fraud and evasion, all institutions and also member states must work together. Just a, a week ago, the G20 leaders uh, committed to making the automatic exchange of information the global standard in taxation. This is a major breakthrough, one that would have been inconceivable even five years ago. The EU has been championing the automatic exchange of information for years now as one of the best tools for combating tax evasion. Our global partners are finally ready to fo follow our lead. As told by the Commissioner, the challenge now is to implement this principle. Financial stability is not only the interest of the EU, but the entire world. As told by the Lithuanian Finance Minister, Rimantis Shadjus, to prevent our financial system from disasters that happened in the past, it is the task for Europe to design a sustainable future of the financial system in the EU and perhaps also globally.